Hi everybody. Today we're going to learn how to do bamboo and uh, panda. Uh, as you have recalled, the first class we have learned uh, orchids. An orchid is kind of uh, graceful. Our subject matter we painted uh, with uh, very elegant, uh, soft lines, curve, curvy uh, lines. Um, in bamboo, we try to develop uh, a strength um, in the painting powerful lines uh, in the bamboo leaves and the stem. In Chinese classical painting, bamboo is uh, considered one of the four gentlemen of uh, Chinese uh, painting. It's the basic in uh, terms of uh, techniques. If you handle bamboo well, you can do any difficult subject matters without any problem. Um, so you will learn how to control the brush to uh, do exactly the strokes, like uh, the leaves, uh, in groove manner. Also the, the way how to pull the brush to do an even uh, stroke for the stem or stalk. Panda is uh, a lovely animal that is always associated with bamboo because they only eat bamboo as their uh, sole source of food. So they eat a lot of them. Um, you can see from a picture I did uh, for this class, uh, I did uh, nine pandas in the bamboo groove. Besides a uh, waterfall, you know. Um, so we will also touch some techniques about painting rocks in the end of the class when we uh, see how I did this uh, big painting. This is a painting I did uh, in my class about uh, 20 years ago. You can compare to this uh, handout. It's the same. I did a, uh, a demo in the in the class. You can see I used uh, some green in the leaves and the stem. So I will also show you that uh, how to use uh, not only different tones of uh, ink, uh, light and dark ink, but also color with ink. You might notice uh, the bamboo leaves are all pointing down in this painting. Um, and here is another example where all the bamboo leaves are pointing up. Um, so you can paint either up or down, but not both. So my first rule of sun is uh, uh, all the leaves downward or upward. Are you ready to learn? Let's start.